Hello, and welcome to this video on how to calculate binomial probabilities using StatCrunch. Well, we can do it by hand. Why? Let's have the computer do all the heavy lifting, and we just interpret what the computer tells us. Because computers are really bad at interpreting. They're good. They're really good at calculations. They're bad at interpreting. We, on the other hand, are pretty good at interpreting. So let's let the computer do the calculations, and we do the interpreting. Binomial probabilities can be calculated in StatCrunch. You go to the menu. It's Stat, Calculators, Binomial. So here we are in StatCrunch. Stat, Calculators, Binomial. And this window pops up. There's one, two, three, four spaces that need to be filled in. The first is N the number of trials. The second is P, the success probability for each trial. The fourth is little x, the probability we want to learn about. And the third is the direction. And we've got five possible directions. Less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, less than, greater than, or equal to. And those are the five options that StatCrunch give us. This is what it would look like typed in a book, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. This is the corresponding in StatCrunch, less than, equal to, greater than or equal to. So let's have five examples. So the first one, let's be given that x has a binomial distribution of 100 trials where n equals 100, and the probability of success is 50. For instance, we're flipping a coin 100 times, a fair coin, and we want to cal calculate the probability that I get a certain number of heads. The first one is the probability that the number of heads is less than or equal to 45. That is, when I flip the coin 100 times, I will get anywhere between 0 and 45 heads. Let's calculate that in StatCrunch. n is 100. Since it is a fair coin, the probability of success is 0.5. We do want to find out less than or equal to, and it's less than or equal to 45. Plug in all those numbers, hit Compute, and not only do we get the answer, the probability is 0.1841008, but we also get a nice little graphic of what's going on here. All the vertical lines are part of the probability mass function for the binomial for in this case the binomial 100.5. The red colored bars are those that are less than or equal to 45. So the adding up all the heights of those red bars gives us the 0 0.1841008. Example 2. Probability that x is greater than or equal to 70. That we get 70 or more heads, that we get at least 70 heads. Again, still binomial of 100.50. We care about 70, and we want greater than or equal to. Compute. I don't see any reds because the probability is so very, very, very small. It's 3.92507 times 10 to the power of negative 5. That e translates as times 10 to the power of. Third example, x is less than 46. Again, it's still 100.5. We now care about 46, and we want less than. Compute, it's 0.1841008, which is exactly the same probability that we calculated for the first example. Because less than or equal to 45 is 0 through 45 inclusive, less than 46 is 0 through 45 inclusive. Because 46 is not part of that less than 46. Fourth example, x is greater than 45. Change the x to 45 and change this to greater than. Compute, it's 
this number, the 0.8158992, is equal to 1 minus this number, which was 0 0.1841008. Why? Because when we flip the coin 100 times, we have to get some number of heads between 0 and 100 inclusive. The number of heads from 0 to 45 is represented by that first probability statement. The number of heads from 46 to 100 is represented by the second. So we've divided this into two separate parts, the less than or equal to 45 and the greater than 45. They have to add up to 1. Notice also that our plot here, the red which is the greater than 45, is exactly opposite of less than or equal to 45. Finally, let's try the probability of getting exactly 50 heads. Now we know that the expected value of x is 50, n times p, but what's the probability of actually getting exactly 50 heads? Change the 45 to 50, change the direction to equals, compute, Notice only the 50 bar is red. Probability is 0 0.07958924. So about 8% chance of getting exactly 50 hits. And that's really all there is to it. And that's really all there is to most of the calculations using StatCrunch. Go to calculators figure out the distribution that you need, plug in the numbers in the right place. Usually the top two or three or one numbers spaces is going to be for the parameters of the distribution. And then at the bottom row you'll have the arrow, you'll have the number of interest, and you'll have the actual uh, probability. I hope this was helpful. If not, let me know. Have a great day.